Dear students, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use NOR gate to build some basic gates such as AND, OR, and NOT. We are going to learn the diagrams by which we will be able to represent those gates using only NOR gates. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we are going to talk about how we can build a NOT gate using only a NOR gate. Alright, so usually in case of NOR gates, uh, there are two inputs and in case of NOR gate, there is only one input. So, uh, if we want to build a NOR gate using only NOR gate, then somehow we need to uh, think about how we can merge those inputs, right? Like, uh, uh, like moving one input and merging it with two inputs and something like that. Okay, so let's uh, begin. So here, uh, this is the diagram which shows how we can build a simple NOR gate using only NOR gate. So, uh, in this diagram, we can see that we are inputting only uh, A and we are getting A prime at the output, alright? And this is our expected outcome, right? Uh, if we used a simple NOT gate, then we would have uh, uh, A as an input and the output would have been A prime, right? So this is our expected outcome, A prime. So what we are going to check is that whether this diagram is actually alright. So we are going to check it by using Boolean algebra and algebraic equations. So at the first place here, we can see that uh, this is a NOR gate and since there are two different uh, since there are two inputs in case of NOR gates uh, so these two lines are actually indicating those two inputs but we are building a NOT gate and in case of NOT gate there is only one input so we are going to be using only one input A but we are going to be putting that input into both of the inputs of a NOR gate so only one input but this input goes to both of the input connection for, uh, of a NOR gate. So, if we write down the equation for uh, that part, so the equation would be uh, like A plus A and there will be a prime at the top of that since this is a NOR gate, that's why A plus A, alright, and this is a NOR gate, so that's why the uh, there is the prime sign. So, next, next, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to follow a formula uh, so that we can simplify this line. So the formula, I'm going to be marking it down there. So yeah, theorem 1, theorem 1, all right. The formula will be this one, x plus x equal to x, all right. So let me just uh, write it down here so that you can understand better. So let me just assume a as x and this a as another x, okay. So now if we just follow that theorem then we can write since x plus x equal to x so we can write a plus a equal to only a and we can keep the bracket for now and there will be the prime and after that we can just ignore the brackets and uh, the thing will be a prime so you can see that our expected outcome was a prime and the thing we got here indicates that it is actually a prime so we started with a simple NOR gate, but we ended up with the output of a NOT gate. So this proves that we can uh, actually use only NOR gate to build a NOT gate. So uh, let me just show you another thing here. So if we used a simple NOT gate only, then we would have uh, A as input and we would have got A prime as output, right? And in case of this diagram, we used NOR gate, not uh, we used NOR gate only and we still uh, got A as input and got A prime as output. Alright, so this is how we can use only NOR gate to build a NOT gate. In this part, uh, we are going to learn how we can build uh, AND gate using only NOR gate. Okay, so in case of AND gate, uh, the output uh, would be A dot B, right? Something like that in case of uh, and get so we're going to see whether we can uh, get that output using this diagram so this diagram actually shows uh, how we can build uh, and gate using only NOR gate so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to verify whether this diagram is actually correct or not by using boolean algebra so let's begin so at the very first part here I'm marking it down so we are inputting uh, only a to this NOR gate so we just saw a few moments ago that if we input uh, the same thing to the both of the input connections uh, of a simple NOR gate then the output would be the inverse of that thing alright so you're inputting A so the output would be A prime 
and here it is uh, actually same as this one we are inputting b so the output would be b prime right so we are getting a prime and b prime as the output so that uh, so uh, the interesting part is here here uh, we are inputting this a prime and b prime these were the outputs of uh, we got from this part so a prime and b prime these two outputs are working as inputs to this new nor gate all right so we are inputting a prime and b prime so if we uh, give a prime and b prime uh, to another nor gate so then what the equation uh, then the equation will be something like this a prime plus b prime and since this is a nor gate so there will be a prime at the end like this one so we are getting a prime plus b prime whole prime at the end of this nor gate all right so now i'm going to uh, simplify it using boolean theorems so uh, let me just mark it down here so i'm going to be using very popular uh, a very popular law here de morgan's law so using de morgan's law i'm going to be using specifically this one all right the first one number a x plus y whole prime equal to x prime uh, y prime all right so now uh, let me just uh, write it down here so that you can understand it uh, better i guess so a prime will be my x and b prime will be my y all right so uh, let's begin simplifying the equation so i can see here that x plus y prime x plus y whole prime equals to x prime uh, y prime so uh, by following that i can write it as a prime whole prime and b sorry b prime there will be a dot at the middle b prime whole prime so since i'm assuming a prime is x and b prime is y so i can write it like this uh, a prime and there's a prime at the top of the brackets and b prime and there's another prime so at the middle it's a dot sign so it's indicating and actually by following this formula so after that line what i can do is i can just uh, ignore the brackets here so that would be a double prime dot b double prime all right and we know that uh, if we get a double prime then we just ignore those uh, two primes and uh, we write the actual number so a double prime becomes a and the dot stays and b double prime becomes b so here we can see that the output we got is actually a dot b and this is the output what we wanted to get right we want to get an output uh, which actually symbolizes the AND gate and here we got A dot B which actually symbolizes A and B so let me just uh, show you another thing here that if we used a simple AND gate then there would be uh, two inputs A and B and the output would be A dot B and here in this diagram we did not use any kind of AND gate we used only NOR gate but still uh, even though we used only NOR gate we ended up with an equation which actually uh, which is actually equivalent to the equation of a simple AND gate so this shows how we can build a simple AND gate using only NOR gate in this part we are going to learn how we can build an OR gate using only NOR gate so in case of OR gate the output would be something like this one right A plus B A or B something like this one so this is our expected outcome and here this diagram shows how we can actually build an OR gate using only NOR gate so what we are going to do is we are going to verify this diagram using boolean algebra and algebraic equations to check whether we can really use this diagram to build an OR gate using only NOR gate so I can show you here that uh, at the very beginning at this part uh, we are using a simple NOR gate and we are giving here two inputs A and B alright so if we give two inputs at this uh, NOR gate then uh, the output would be a plus b whole prime right that the output would be a plus b whole prime since this is a nor gate so the interesting part is here so this is another nor gate and here what we are doing is uh, we got a plus b whole prime uh, as the previous output and we are using it as uh, as an input and this input is going at both of the places both of the input connections to this nor gate right so what we're doing here is that we're using a NOR gate and we're giving a plus b whole prime this equation as input as both of the inputs for this NOR gate so let me just uh, write the equation here so that will be more uh, clear i guess so a plus b all right so a plus b whole prime 
and plus a plus b whole prime since this is a nor gate so i'm gonna be using a uh, whole prime at the outside so this is the equation which i'm getting from the output line of this nor gate okay from this output line we're getting this equation so now we're going to simplify this equation and we're going to use a formula we're going to use the very popular formula of de morgan's law so we're going to be using uh yeah i guess the first one yeah i guess the first one all right so uh, let me just show you here okay so the uh, formula actually tells me that x plus y whole prime equal to x prime y prime all right so uh, let me just assume that um a plus b okay a plus b whole prime as x and here this a plus b whole prime as y all right so now this equation exactly looks like this uh, equation this de morgan's equation right so let me just simplify it uh, following this formula so uh, since this is x so i can write it as a plus b whole prime and yeah so yeah let me just uh, ignore those brackets so a plus b whole prime and there should be another prime right there should be another prime because uh, usually it's x plus y whole prime equal to x prime y prime so a plus b whole prime was my uh, a plus b whole prime was my x so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put okay I'm going to put another prime here and then I'm going to put a dot sign here because x prime dot y prime and then I'm going to write the y part here. So I'm going to put another prime at the end. Yeah, so this looks like uh, this formula now. All right. So let me just simplify it even more so, uh, so that you get the clearer idea. So I'm just going to ignore the brackets here now. So if I ignore the uh, brackets, some brackets, then there is double prime and then again a plus b double prime. Yeah. So we already know that uh, if there are double primes, then we can just ignore those two primes and uh, the actual number stays. So uh, we are going to ignore those primes and we can write it as a dot b dot, okay, a dot b dot, sorry, a plus b dot a plus b and now uh, here's another interesting part so we are going to be using another formula i guess so yeah this time it's going to be this one okay this one theorem 1 x dot x equal to x so what i can do is i can uh, i can just yeah write it down here i can assume this a plus b as x and this a plus b as another x and then I can just simplify it even more so it becomes since it is x dot x equal to x so I can write it as a plus b dot a plus b so it becomes a plus b only so let me just uh, ignore the bracket so it becomes a plus b all right so here we can see that uh, sorry uh, let me just remove this part okay so we can see that our expected outcome was a plus b and here at the output we got a plus b so uh, let me just show you another thing if we used a simple or gate then there would be two inputs a and b and the output would be a plus b but here at this diagram we did not use any kind of or gate we used only nor gate but still we ended up with an equation which actually symbolizes a simple or gate so this actually proves that how uh, we can use nor gate to build an or gate all right so uh, most important part here what you need to learn from this lecture well so you need to learn these diagrams these uh, 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 this marked region diagrams uh, because you might be asked in future exercises or in future lectures that you need to uh, draw an OR gate or an AND gate using only NOR gate or you might be asked to implement a boolean function using only uh, NAND gate in that case you will definitely need to know how you can actually uh, implement 
uh, this type of gates like NOT gates, AND gate or gate using only NOT gates. So you need to learn these diagrams and you need to learn these diagrams very well so that you can do well in future uh, lectures or exercises. So thank you everyone. That's it for this lecture.